Slow living is the way I've been living my whole life. I was born and raised, and I still live in a small town in the middle of nowhere. I've had a small group of close friends. I went to the same school for 12 years, and whenever I'm walking down the street, there's always someone that I know from somewhere. Instead of Starbucks or the club, we have coffee shops and bars run by people who drive the same, for a lack of a more appropriate term, poorly maintained roads. And they get that bread from the same bakery as I do. Instead of Starbucks or the club, we have coffee shops and bars. <coughs> it might be hard to imagine that for folk like myself, um, you know, whose homes are surrounded with pines and like grass, a breath of fresh air can only be had in the most smoggy and smelly air that my country has to offer. I have always felt that there is nothing wrong with chasing novelty or taking a break from your routine. So when my father told me that I could come, it is what it is. When my old man told me that I could accompany him on two of his business trips, <laughs> bro, that sounds too good. We were just gonna be counting votes because there was like an election in our country. And then we like had to pick up the pay like a month and a half later, I guess. So we were gonna spend four nights in total in Bu 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 Bucharest. First, we took a bus to another city and in that city's train station, I was already greeted with a pair of designer shoes by Rick Owens that Playboy Cardi wore in his most famous music video to this day. And, you know, I could already feel that change in, like, how, like, we were a small town and that town was already, like, three times as big as ours. And, you know, there was already, like, a major shift. I, I think I looked away too too soon and this is gonna ruin the shot but man i'm not really used to this <laughs> so we got on the train three hours later we get off the train and we are already like reminded that we live in a capitalist society because the first thing like literally once we stepped off the train platform was a mcdonald's you know and we don't really like we don't have mcdonald's in my little town on the outsides of the station there was a different world from my own with apartment blocks and squares, large squares and bridges and tall as hell office buildings and busy roads. My old man and I could both feel the switch from fast to slow. However, we weren't tourists. You know, we also had things to do. There were short periods of time, moments, where we forgot about all of that when we were making our way from A to B, be it by walking or sitting on the subway, Mama Pops was lighting up a stove. Some inner windows opened and the noise could finally reach me, reach him. We felt the energy. And I'm telling you that I've never felt more alive from just walking and seeing office buildings. <laughs> the large distances and the abundance of space around me made me feel free and quite frankly freer than I've ever felt before. And my dad, 
No hope was shining from his eyes too. You know, it just has every high, there's a low, so there's like no magic left. You know, I'm back at home. Nothing has really changed, like long-term effects, like we didn't get a lot of money, but we know we got a, you know, we got an, an experience and I also learned something. The reason I felt freer than at home wasn't because of like, the promises of money, status or wealth or whatever. It was because I felt like these people, you know, the unfamiliar faces that I was surrounded with, they didn't care about me at all. Love, you know, how everybody's chasing love and this whole notion and whatever. When I was there, and I felt like, bruh, it's so cool that these people don't give a flying frick about me it was also a, a great feeling like no expectations you know they weren't bad people they didn't care about me because you know they had their own errands or whatever they had to run bills to pay kids to take to school <laughs> well i guess that's not true right now but i think you get the point <laughs> now comes the cringe part Yo, like, if you're still watching, like, there's a good chance that, like, I'm I'm talking to a wall right now because this is, like, my first video. But to be honest, I know that the quality quality of this video was, was like, lower than the usual videos that you watch. But hey, you know, maybe drop a sub, turn off the notifications and then come back like three, six months later and check out how I've learned, you know, feel free to accompany me on this journey on the internet. Right, so with that said, I hope I'm gonna... I hope some of you will show up next week whenever the next video's uh, up. I'm gonna be starting a stream soon as well on Twitch. I'm gonna play some video games. And yeah, that's it, bro. Like, thanks so much for watching and bye. <laughs> fuck. Strange, bro. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, let me turn this off somehow.